You'll see that it's super, super shiny. It's probably been enhanced with the shine. Hello, this is VJ from Hearns Hobbies and I'm gonna be doing a tutorial for you today. I've been working on this little sucker. Now, this is a tutorial on just one aspect I've used on this particular figure. And this is a driver from one of the Tamiya Ready Control cars. This is actually from one of the Comical Grasshoppers. And I've actually modified it, but it's not about that. It's about the lenses in the glasses. So you see how I've got the lenses there. That's not just clear plastic sheet I've used. I've actually made those out of the green stuff UV resin. And that's simply because I wanted to push the resin and see how far it could go. You see that's super, super shiny. It's probably been enhanced with the shine there with the green stuff chrome I've airbrushed over it to give that chrome lens effect and that's why it looks a little bit smoky as you you see the eyes but generally that reflection you're getting off it is from the way that I've formed it as well and I'll show you how I do that now there's some great uh, I guess advantages of being able to do this uh, one of them is with plastic sheet it's totally flat so when you're trying to bend around these are actually curved frames you won't be able to get them very curved. Now there's a slight curve to these, which you may be able to just see. That's something you won't be able to get out of a, a totally flat sheet. Other thing too is you're able to manipulate a little bit because with the, the clear resin, it does actually have quite a lot of give. And I'll show you how to do that as well. Okay, so let's have a look at the materials I'm gonna be using. Okay, so there's our little driver figure. Let's move him out of the way, put him over there. And this is the resin we're using here. This is the UV setting resin, fully transparent one. So that's why it's glass clear. And you can see his eyes before, totally clear. And when you apply this, it'll remain liquid until you set it with the UV torch. Okay, so it's UV LEDs in here. And you'll be able to see the color as it comes up there. And that's what's used for setting this particular resin. I'm using clear, okay. So what I've done here is I have some clear plastic, which I've cut from some old packaging of a product. And you see how it's very reflective now? I'm gonna be making sheet glass, okay? And I'm gonna do it by sandwiching the UV resin between these pieces. To get it perfectly clear, it needs to be totally smooth and shiny, just like this. So if you use something that's not so shiny, then you're not gonna get that really clear effect. Okay, so let's just do that. So I'm just separating it like this. Let's get the UV out of here. Sometimes the UV resin is a bit hard to get out because it's probably about 18 degrees Celsius at the moment. And it's pretty cool, which means this resin would normally be pretty thick. I've also used quite a bit of it. So it is just sitting there. So let's see if I can squeeze some out. I can see that that's just done the little bubble and it's just spat it out. So hopefully it'll start coming down and we'll load it up. Oh, we've got a drop out there. So you can see there's a drop. So let's get a bit more than that out, just so I can show you what's going on. So I've squeezed a bit out now. Okay, so I've got a little bubble of resin. We'll put the cap back on because let's just save it in case we accidentally you know, shine the torch over here and we don't want to set it up inside the nozzle. Now if I pick this up, you'll see just how viscous this stuff is. So it's just sitting there, super thick, like so. Now if I zoom in, there you go. And see how that's absolutely glass clear. See, so that acts like a lens too. So if you want to make lenses, you can make a lens by setting it like this and you'll have this convex effect and you see how it's, it's doing the lens effect already. Really simple. So after you set it, you'll be able to peel it off here. So one of the things that some people don't realize is UV resin actually doesn't stick like an adhesive onto the surface. It's got a lot of surface area, so what's just going to happen is it'll bond, and then as you apply more pressure to it, it will eventually peel off. So some people have used this as a filling agent. If it's a concave filling agent, it doesn't work very well. So you just need to be mindful of that. You see how I'm moving around? It's not moving itself. But, see this, I'm just getting this, 
this clear sheet over the top and as I put on the top you see how it's as I squeeze it so it's getting thinner as I squeeze it obviously but if I let it go it comes back because it's still liquid so I'm going to apply my fingers here to maintain some pressure and then I've got my torch I switched it on and I'll pop it over here and we'll set it and that's why clear is important if you want to do this to make a thin sheet because you need to be able to penetrate through it with the UV. Now UV will go through many things. If you're using blue stuff, you'll see in one of my other tutorials where I've used blue stuff. And um, it does penetrate the blue stuff because blue stuff is transparent. Now I normally just go over this for a few seconds. See it's right in the center there, the little button of UV resin. And it's held these two pieces together. But if I pick up one side like this, it peels straight off. Okay. That's clear now, nothing there, and the button is left here. It's so clear that I can't even get a reflection to show you. So we can peel that off here as well. And it's just peeling off right there. There we go. We've got this perfect disc of clear. Perfectly clear disc as you can see. And the other thing too is, if I bend it like this, you see how it's got this give to it and it can hold its shape. And that's further manipulatable if you use heat. So if you want to bend it and lock it into place, you can put a hairdryer onto this or dip it into hot water. Hairdryer will work better because it's dry. So if you dip it in water, you have to work out exactly how you're going to manipulate while it's got water all over it, which may be not such a good thing. So there you go, that is the lens itself. Now I'm going to run off and go and get a hairdryer just to show you how it reacts with that. Now a heat gun has more power than a hairdryer, but a hairdryer in a high setting will do the same. Okay, so I've got it on now. Let me just pick up this piece. Now as I heat it, you see how I can bend it all the way around turn it off or I just hold it in place see how malleable it is that's something that you cannot do with say clear styrene sheet or vinyl and this, this is basically how I manipulated it to get that slight convex shape of the lens in the sunglasses okay and just so you want to straighten that up again we just put the, the heat on it again. And we're back to perfectly flat. Okay, so that's magical about this particular material and that's why I like it so much. And then to cut the lenses, I just use some scissors. Okay, so just cut it like so. And there we go. Cuts very simply. What you'll find that if it's really cold, now this can shatter as in it'll crack. Now the easiest way to, to do that without cracking is if it's if you're doing this in cold weather, you just make sure you warm it up and you see how malleable it is here and you cut through it without any issues at all. Okay so basically I've cut out the shape of the lenses from here. Well let's do this one here. Got this little bit there. Okay, so we just cut out our lenses, make it look a bit aviator style, there we go. Okay, so it's going to look a bit rough, which means we need to trim off all the edges and that's quite easily done by sanding. So even though it's so soft, you'll be able to see how easily it sands into shape. So let's go get sanding blocks. Okay, so I've got a couple of sanding blocks here. So we've got 400 and 240, and we've got the really fine ones there as well. So if you're doing the basic shaping, we'll use 400. 240 is a bit on the agricultural side. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if we can get that reflection going. There's a reflection. And then we just sand the edges. And it's quite amazing that something this malleable 
has enough structure to be sanded and sanded quite easily. And I'm just sanding off all the corners at the moment. So you can see a bit of the white dust being left behind. Sanding all the way around, just so you can get an idea of what I've done. And you can see there, there's a bit of dust on it, but that just clears off. So here we go. So you can see the edges are all rounded off now. See how it's still really clear? Got the reflections happening there. Just so you can see that. And that's just quite easily been sanded around the edges. Just with some sanding pads. You can see how, so you've got this little lens there, and that's how I've done the lenses here. And I've just glued those in place with some, uh, I guess, clear glue, which is a very clear drying wood cement. A bit like the deluxe materials glue and glaze, all the micro scale crystal clear. And that's just on the edges around that frame. And then I've just spray painted the, the front with some really fine mists of green stuff uh, airbrush chrome to get that mirror look and I've got some aviator glasses so there we go and that's how I've made you see that might be able to see there's that lens and that's how good this 3d resin is and that's why I love it so much the more I use it the more uses I find for it so there's our little driver it's got his sunglasses on and that's a UV resin which I've used to make the lenses so not only can you use it for molding parts, which I've shown you in another tutorial, and not only can you use it for making water effects, but it's absolutely fantastic for making lenses, and so flat lenses for sunglasses, or even if you left it in that sort of bubble effect with the, uh, the convex shape, you can make actual magnifying lenses. So there we go. That's my tutorial, my advanced tutorial, on how to use the Green Stuff World UV resin. So thank you for watching, and if you liked that tutorial, please give me a like below. And if you'd like to see more content, please consider subscribing to the channel. So thank you very much for joining me.